Hey folks, so I thought I would give us a little tour of the website and possibly GitHub, depending on how long this takes. But um, yeah, so here is the website. So this website is fully hosted on GitHub. If you are a student in my class, you have access to the repository itself. You are actively encouraged to contribute. Uh, but I wanted to give you kind of a tour. So, so right on the index, um, I've got, um, let's see, this was, this was last rendered today. Um, you can see the silly little stupid video I made right here. Uh, some of the kind of housekeeping things. Frankly, this class is a work in progress. Uh, it's about 60% done. I'm trying my best to kind of keep up and get a sense of where I'm at. Like, so here's literally the table I used to calculate the 60%. Now, I encourage you to check out module zero over here. It kind of gives an overview of the class, some of the big ideas, uh, talking about how to be a successful asynchronous student, uh, and the syllabus, which you can find on the Git, on a different Git repo that I'm working on. Uh, coding how to install R, some other silly stuff, as well as the portfolio instructions. I have a rough draft of them. I'm cleaning them up a little, thinking about how to reduce the burden uh, in this class as much as possible. But this is the basic tour, so you just poke around um, there's attributions, license, things, and each week there's also a site map that it's like kind of working, kind of not working, uh, like technically, I don't, oh, well, I lied, so we'll just stay in the website. So, so each week is going to be a module, approximately, and it'll introduce you, like I'll tell you what the big idea is. Um, and you can work your way through the videos either embedded in the class because there's like text and stuff. I recommend working through it that way. But if you want to just like zoom through, watch all the videos, you can do it on the module playlist. Uh, and each of the videos will have slides embedded in them. This is the kind of fancy piece that you can follow along. So uh, this is essentially why I'm making the video to show you what you can do. So I'm pressing left or right arrow and I can follow along. And it should be the exact same version. Now I re-render them after I record them so you can actually see the slide number just because, uh, just so you have some sense, it's easy to comment in and out. I wouldn't use recommend using the up and down arrows because as you can see, it moves everything, but if you use the right and left, you should be okay. Also, these written in R as well. Um, the Shiny app seems to work. Sometimes you have to rerun it. YouTube videos are embedded. Uh, social media also embedded. And in theory, it's designed to kind of like you work your way through. Um, scrolling up and down is also kind of a pain with this. I'm still working out the kinks as well. It's kind of giving you a preview of like what various um, materials work that you'll be working with look like. Um, yeah, and so you can just poke around each so I'll try and break them up thematically, but if you find that like it'd be better to like slight or smush them together, please let me know. Um, there'll also be these additional kind of deep dives. They'll have extra information uh, that is helpful. Sometimes it'll reiterate what I've done in the videos, but just so you have it in one place. Uh, like a lot of this kind of like our markdown goodie stuff, it's just kind of rewritten 
some shortcuts, some extra stuff on casing, uh, errors. There's a lot of stuff here and I don't expect you to use all of it. I'm just kind of gathering it all in one place. And this website will stay live after the class. It's gonna like live forever. Um, yeah, so again, I know not super eloquent. Now, the labs are um, mine's, not mine, her mine. Uh, she's a fantastic professor at University of Edinburgh. She taught, uh, she was like a professor of, pra like did a sabbatical -y type thing at Duke, like right around the corner. Um, but like, frankly, her work is great. It's clear. It kind of helps build you through. And to be pragmatic, the reason I'm doing it is so that I can spend more time producing video content up to like lectures, things like that. So her lab materials are so fantastic. And, you know, I'd rather them be too easy than too hard. So, so yes, I'm aware they're for undergrads and that's perfectly fine, I think, because I want you to just get familiar with this stuff. Um, and also it seems silly to reinvent the wheel when, you know, fun facts, because video production takes forever. You'd never know it. Well, I mean, I will let you know because I want you to know. It's a lot of work. I've gotten a lot better at it, more efficient, but still a lot of work. Um, but yeah, and so each, like, one reason why the labs aren't listed as 100% are I'm going through them to make sure that they're compatible with us because uh, she hosts her class using uh, our cloud our studio cloud, which has some great advantages, uh, but I think it's really helpful to make sure you have a setup that works on your computer by yourself. Uh, she also really likes team projects and I am I have mixed opinions, but regardless, her stuff is fabulous. And so I'm using it under a Creative Commons attribution license and like just singing her praises because they make it so I can focus on other things and learn how to embed silly GIFs. All right, now, right now, I'm in the process of filming uh, module two. Uh, this is actually part of module two filming. I'll probably like put it up earlier, but um, in the interim, you're gonna see a lot of filler websites. Like uh, this one I've started to fill out, but you'll also notice that there are like YouTube videos embedded that like aren't me. Well, there's an R film, like an R script that I have that it will randomly select a video from a fun pre-approved Mason list of silly things, mostly cats and stats and data visualization. So nothing, nothing controversial, um, but it at least gives it variety. So it's not just look at that stupid little jingle that Mason spent way too long on. And um, some, I'm working on synchronizing the slides more easily. Like, oops, um, I gotta relink the, some of them. But my point is like, I'm working on it. Uh, and I appreciate your patience. So this is a lot of stuff. Um, we'll have some external videos like John Tukey and the Prim Nine. Uh, don't ask me how I got it, uh, but I have it and it's been re I've reprocessed the audio and some of the video and cleaned it up as much as possible. So yeah, uh, use the website. In addition, um, there are random fun stuff. It gives you a basic idea, but in addition, okay, let's go to GitHub. All of this is on GitHub. All of it right here. You'll see that the most recent edit I made was 28 minutes ago and all the materials are here if you want to like look behind the curtain. And I will, if you find this errors of this, like, please let me know, pull, make an issue, 
or something like that. Um, but yeah, so you can get the slides or the, the website here. In addition, let's let's just continue our tour. Uh, you can also get the slides. Um, those are there's an index. It's not a great index. If uh, okay, um, like some of the like, but it should so like the ggplot slides are here. I'm in the process of renaming them in a way that is sane. Um, <laughs> Oops, and re-rendering figures because sometimes they don't work. I got a, but oh, here we go. So uh, my point is like this is a work in progress. I appreciate your patience. Um, oh, let's see. Do, do, do. So yeah, slides are on the slides. Um, in addition to that, there are three teams. I uh, consolidated it. Um, got course questions right here. Uh, so main team is spring 2021. This is our semester now broken down because there are some folks who are auditing. And uh, so they're in the audit group while everybody else. So everyone who's taking for it for credit is in the mask to mask group. I had initially had it set so that it was like the team Monday and team Friday. But uh, it, it, it seemed like a lot of work for not a lot of good reason. If you guys want to make your own separate Team Monday, Team Friday, go for it. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, so in addition, you can also find all the lab materials. I've, for the most part, linked them. I'm trying to pin, so each week I'll pin the ones that we're using, or at least I will try to. And for each of them, all you need to do is press use this template and type out the name you want. Apparently I want to name it friendly octo lamp. I mean, name it something reasonable. And um, just press create repository from template. It'll belong to you. Uh, you can make it private, but I encourage you to like show it to me so that I can like uh, somehow like either grant me access or just leave it public. Uh, this is one way to build your portfolio and kind of work through the assignments. You don't have for the like active, the work, the follow along active, you don't have to. I'm not putting them in the grading rubric, but they're really helpful and will are kind of like the stepping stones between the labs for the most part. Uh, so I encourage you to like do that. Um, if you have questions, please shoot me emails. Uh, like the the labs, uh, you you are welcome to host them on your own. I encourage you to host them on your own private or your own repo, just so that you can control them after the class is done. If you want. Um. But yeah, also you won't have image bot like constantly re um, optimizing your figures. Uh, I have him running because I want the, the everything to load faster for you all. And it's kind of cool having a robot. But yeah, so all the slides should be accessible through the website and viewable. Um, so that's about it. My plan is to be about us at least a week ahead. Um, although I think that's, it's going to be optimistic. Excuse me. We shall see. But anyway, that's kind of my ramble. Just to like, welcome you to class and show you the stuff. Um, by the end of this, like you will be perfectly capable of doing or at least knowing how to find out how to do all the things that I do because I'm not some magical wizard cat lady I just am really good at persisting and when I hit an error I try it I try and like fix it and hope for a new error that's it
I'm not some computer science genius. I have or anything like that. I'm just a lady who goes to the goes multiple pages into Google if necessary. So yeah, um, that's going to be my quick little tour that uh, I'll upload soon ish. I'll see y'all later. Bye.